You ever heard a song on the radio and just couldn't remember what the name of the song is for the longest time ever? Well, Shazam can recognize millions and millions of songs in a matter of seconds. But how did we invent this? I mean, if you as a person can't even remember the song, how did we just invent a program that can? Many of you don't know this, but Shazam has been a thing for more time than many of you have even been living on this world. I was surprised myself because Shazam has been here since the early 21st century. Well, you still needed to call a number 2580 on your Nokia phone, but it could do the thing and send you the SMS of the name of the song. So if Shazam existed for such a long time, why did no one, even myself, know about it? I mean, it's a genius idea, right? A simple answer, Apple. Yeah, Shazam literally gained popularity after Apple bought it in late 2017. But if we come to the original question, how did the people that invented Shazam, well, just do it? You may say that the technology behind Shazam is difficult, but it's really not. Your phone probably has a microphone that can record audio. That's the first key to Shazam's recognition and success. When you press on that little logo in the middle, Shazam will use the phone's microphone to record audio, in that case the song. But the recording won't be saved to the standard mp3 or whatever format for audio we use today to listen to music. Shazam has a specific thing that it records the audio on called the spectrogram. Shazam records audio or so-called audio audio frequency and that frequency then gets put on this colory looking spectrogram as a frequency over time. The colors? The brighter the color, the more loud the sounds are. The higher the frequency, the higher the tones will be put higher on the spectrogram. This professor Julius Smith explains it based on the sound of the whistle. As you can see, when the whistle goes down, the frequency goes down as well. But because these spectrograms are too long and difficult to process and predict, Shazam uses this technique to simplify the main bright parts down to single points, or as they call them, the fingerprints. Okay, but what if you're just in a coffee shop enjoying your coffee? coffee and suddenly the song pops up. Obviously, if you Shazam it, Shazam will also pick the meaningless sounds to the music like the outside noise or the coffee machine maker or the other people talking. But because Shazam isn't human, it won't be able to differentiate these sounds from the song so it's gonna pick all of the recorded sounds and record it on the spectrogram. This is also why if you have too much noise and zero background, Shazam won't be able to recognize the song simply because there's just too many meaningless thoughts. Then, as I mentioned earlier, the spectrogram will convert these bright sounds down to single dots to make it simpler to recognize a song. Okay, so now what? What does Shazam do with these recorded dots or called fingerprints? Well, it then basically tries to match these dots in a time sequence with all of the other existing songs it has in its storage. But again, there are like millions of songs in its storage, so it would take forever to find the right sequence of the song, right? That's why Shazam uses the thing called the hash database to match the fingerprints with the right song. Thick hash database is a library of the songs, or to make it simpler, the book stored in the library. To make it short, each book in this case is stored with the other books by the similarities these books have. Then those books will be marked with the letter under a single group, for example all of the books that start with the word the. Then obviously each book in that group will be marked with the extra symbol, number or letter by itself so the books don't collide with each other. That's basically how Shazam differentiates the different songs stored in its library. Back to the recognition, once Shazam gets the fingerprints, it's gonna try to search for a song primarily based on the different frequencies of all the fingerprints in that sequence. Like, it's not gonna go and try to match each dot with each one specifically, but it's gonna take that entire sequence of the dots and match all of the dots at the same time. Once it gets enough dots matched with the sequence of the right song, it's gonna show up which song it is on the screen. So yeah, this is basically how you can instantly find a song the more you know.